what's up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about smart cities in case you have no idea what the heck these things are so let's get into it smart cities they represent the future of urban living leveraging technology and data to enhance the quality of life for residents improve sustainability and streamline city operations and the concept of smart cities this encompasses various aspects of urban development including transportation energy management public safety healthcare, and governance in this video we're going to talk about what a smart city is its key components benefits challenges real world examples and future trends. So exactly what is a smart city? So a smart city, this uses digital technology and data analytics to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of city services and infrastructure. And the goal is to create a more livable, sustainable and resilient urban environment by integrating information and communication technologies with the city's infrastructure and services. And here are some of the key characteristics of what makes a smart city. So the first is that of connectivity. So it has ubiquitous high-speed internet and seamless communication networks. They are data-driven, so they utilize data analytics and IoT devices to gather and analyze data for informed decision-making. There's sustainability, so there is a focus on environmental sustainability through efficient resource management. You also have the aspect of smart cities being citizen centric. So this prioritizes the need and well-being of residents by enhancing service delivery and quality of life. And then there's innovation. So smart cities encourage innovation and the adoption of new technologies to solve urban challenges. All right, next let's discuss the key components of a smart city. So a smart city, this integrates various technologies and systems to enhance urban living. And the key components are as follows. So there is the smart infrastructure and this incorporates advanced sensors, IOT devices and communication networks to monitor and manage city infrastructure such as roads, bridges and buildings. There's smart transportation. So this utilizes intelligent transportation systems to improve traffic flow, reduce congestion, and enhance public transit. And examples of this include smart traffic lights, autonomous vehicles, and real-time transit information. Next, you have smart energy. So there is a focus on energy efficiency and sustainability through smart grids, renewable energy sources, and energy efficient buildings. And smart meters and energy management systems, they help to optimize energy usage. There's smart water management, and this implements technologies for efficient water distribution, leak detection, and wastewater management. And smart irrigation systems and real-time water quality monitoring, they enhance water resource management. Another component is smart waste management, and this uses IoT enabled waste bins and smart logistics to optimize waste collection and recycling processes. And sensors, they can detect when bins are full and route collection vehicles efficiently. There's smart healthcare, and this enhances healthcare delivery through telemedicine, remote monitoring, and health data analytics. And smart health initiatives, they improve access to care and patient outcomes. There's also the component of smart governance, and this facilitates transparent and efficient governance through e-government services, digital citizen engagement platforms, and data-driven policy making. And then there's smart public safety, and this employs advanced surveillance, emergency response systems, and predictive analytics to enhance public safety and security. And examples of this can include smart street lighting and real-time crime mapping. And then there are smart buildings, and this integrates building management systems to optimize energy usage, security, and comfort. In smart buildings, they use sensors and automation to manage lighting, heating, and ventilation. And then there's the overall smart environment. So this monitors and manages environmental factors such as air quality, noise levels, and urban green spaces. And environmental sensors and data analytics, they help mitigate pollution and enhance urban resilience. All right, so moving on, let's talk about the benefits of smart cities. So smart cities, they offer numerous benefits that improve the quality of life for residents and enhance the overall efficiency of urban management. And one of those benefits is improved quality of life. So enhance public services, better health care and improved safety. They all contribute to a higher quality of life for residents. There's increased efficiency. So smart technologies, they streamline city operations, reduce resource consumption, and optimize service delivery. 
You have environmental sustainability. So smart cities, they promote sustainable practices, reducing carbon emissions, conserving water and minimizing waste. There's economic growth. So innovative and technology driven development, they do attract businesses, create jobs and boost the local economy. You have enhanced public safety. So advanced surveillance and predictive analytics. They both improve emergency response and reduce crime rates. There's better mobility. So intelligent transportation systems and smart infrastructure, they enhance mobility and reduce traffic congestion. There's also data-driven decision-making, so real-time data analytics. They enable informed decision-making, improving urban planning and policy development. And then there's citizen engagement, so digital platforms and e-government services. They increase citizen participation and transparency in governance. All right, so next, let's talk about the challenges of building a smart city. So despite the numerous benefits, the development and implementation of smart cities comes with several challenges. And the first is that of cost. So the initial investment required for deploying smart city technologies and infrastructure, this can be significant. Then there's data privacy and security. So ensuring the privacy and security of data collected from various sources is crucial to protect citizens' personal information. There's interoperability. So integrating diverse technologies and systems from different vendors. This can be challenging, requiring standardized protocols and frameworks. Then there is the digital divide. So ensuring equitable access to smart city technologies and services for all residents, regardless of socioeconomic status, is essential. You have governance and regulation. So establishing appropriate governance structures and regulatory frameworks to manage smart city initiatives is also crucial. You have sustainability. So balancing technological advancement and environmental sustainability. This requires careful planning and management. And then we have public acceptance. So gaining public trust and acceptance of new technologies and data collection practices. This is absolutely necessary for successful implementation. All right, so moving on, let's talk about some real world examples of smart cities. So several cities around the world, they are leading the way in implementing smart city initiatives. And here are a few notable examples. So the first is that of Barcelona, Spain. So Barcelona has implemented a range of smart city projects, including smart street lighting, waste management, and citywide Wi-Fi networks. And the city uses IoT sensors to monitor air quality, traffic, and noise levels. Then we have that of Singapore, which is the picture that you're looking at on your screen right here. So Singapore's Smart Nation Initiative, this focuses on using technology to improve urban living, including smart housing, transportation, and healthcare. And the city state employs a comprehensive data platform to manage urban services and engage citizens. Next, we have Copenhagen, Denmark, which is the image you see on your screen right here. So Copenhagen, they aim to become carbon neutral by 2025 through various smart city initiatives. And the city uses smart traffic management, energy efficient buildings and renewable energy sources to reduce their carbon emissions. Then there's Amsterdam in the Netherlands. So Amsterdam smart city program. This focuses on sustainability, mobility and digital connectivity and projects include smart energy grids, electric vehicle charging stations and open data platforms for citizen management. And then we have New York City. So New York City has implemented smart city technologies such as smart street lights, public Wi-Fi and data driven public safety initiatives. And the city's Link NYC project, this provides high speed Internet access across the city. And then we have Tokyo, Japan, which is the image you see on your screen here. And Tokyo uses smart technologies to enhance public transportation, disaster management and energy efficiency. And the city has implemented advanced surveillance systems systems and real-time data analytics for urban management. All right, so next let's talk about some future trends in smart cities. So the future of smart cities is shaped by several emerging trends and advancements in technology. And the first is that of artificial intelligence. So AI will play a critical role in enhancing smart city applications from predictive analytics for urban planning to autonomous vehicles and intelligent traffic management. Then there's 5G connectivity. So the deployment of 5G networks, this will provide the high speed, low latency connectivity needed for advanced smart city applications, enabling real time data exchange and communication. 
You have the Internet of Things. So IoT will continue to expand with more connected devices and sensors, providing real-time data for efficient city management and improved service delivery. There's edge computing, and this will enable faster data processing and analytics at the edge of the network, reducing latency and improving the responsiveness of smart city applications. There's blockchain technology. So blockchain, this can enhance the security and transparency of smart city transactions from secure data sharing to decentralized energy trading. It has sustainable development. So smart cities will increasingly focus on sustainable development, integrating renewable energy sources, green infrastructure, and circular economy principles. Then there's citizen-centric designs. So future smart cities will prioritize citizen engagement and participation using digital platforms and tools to involve residents in decision-making and urban planning. And then there's resilience and adaptability. So smart cities will focus on building resilience to environmental, economic, and social challenges using data-driven approaches to adapt and respond to changing conditions. So to wrap all of this information up, smart cities, they represent a transformative vision for urban living, leveraging technology and data to create more efficient, sustainable and livable environments. And by integrating digital technologies with urban infrastructure and services, smart cities enhance the quality of life for residents, promote economic growth and improve environmental sustainability. And while the development and implementation of smart cities comes with challenges, the benefits far outweigh the obstacles. And as technology continues to advance and urban populations grow, the importance of smart cities will only increase. So by understanding the key components, benefits, challenges, and future trends, we can better appreciate the potential of smart cities to shape the future of urban living. So whether you're a city planner, a technology enthusiast, or a resident in an urban area, the concept of smart cities offers exciting possibilities for creating a better, more connected world. And by embracing innovation and leveraging data-driven approaches, we all can build cities that are not only smarter, but also more inclusive, sustainable, and resilient.